Hello friends, welcome to the video tutorial of WordPress WooCommerce pre-order plugin. This plugin allows the customers to purchase a product from the store which is currently out of stock. And a customer can even purchase the product which has not been arrived in the store. The customer can order multiple stock units even with the partial payment as well if allowed by the admin. So now we move through the admin panel to check all the configurations of this plugin. Here in admin panel, a new tab WooCommerce pre-order will be added after the successful installation of the plugin. The admin can configure this plugin under WooCommerce pre-order and settings. There is only single setting will be available. Here admin just need to choose the time zone as per his requirement. Here all the time zones will be available in a drop down list. And admin just need to select a suitable time zone and save the changes by pressing the save changes button. Now all the changes has been saved. So as the pre-order will only work for the product which are currently out of stock. So if there is any product which is in stock then admin needs to make the product as out of stock. We can do the same under products and choose the product for which you want to allow as pre-order. So uh, let me choose the product ninja t-shirt and make it out of stock as currently it is in stock. To make it out of stock we just move to the inventory tab and change the stock status as out of stock and update the product. So now if we move through the product tab, we can see that the currently the status of the product is out of stock. So now to add a pre-order, we move through the WooCommerce pre-order list. Here all the pre-orders which are currently whether in enabled states or in disabled state will be listed in here. So to add a new pre-order we just need to press the button add pre-order. Here we need to choose the product name which is available from a drop down list. Here all the products which are currently out of stock will be available. So we need to choose the product for which we want to create a pre-order. So right now we choose the product ninja t-shirt as earlier we make it out of stock. Here the uh, two options are available for the payment. First is full payment and the second is partial payment. If we choose full payment then the customer need to pay the complete amount of the product as a pre-order and if we choose partial payment then the admin can enter the amount for which uh, he wants the customer to pay at the time of pre-order. This is the original price which will auto entered as per the price of the product. So uh, let me uh, enter uh, the price at 8 USD as a pre-order. Here admin needs to enter the quantity of the product as a pre-order. So uh, for example we put it at 100. So now the quantity ordered for this pre-order will be 100. So uh, this is the option of to enter exact expected available date. The admin can enter this on the with the help of this calendar. It is a expected available date uh, which will be visible on the product page to uh, give an information for the expected availability date to the customer. Now admin needs to enter the time. and make the status as enabled if you want to enable the pre-order for this product. Now press the save button to make the changes save. As uh, we can see that uh, the ninja t-shirt is now uh, available in the list of pre-orders and currently it is enabled and uh, we can check the functionality of the pre-order from the front end by moving to the front end. 
now we are on the front end and uh, this is our product ninja t-shirt which we uh, added as a pre-order so if we uh, see here uh, there is a tab pre-order will be uh, available instead of add to cart if we move to the product page we can see all the uh, information about this product uh, as we can see that currently it is out of stock and there is expected availability date and the timer here we can see the quantity of products as well and a information that how much amount is required to make it as a pre-order so to make it pre-order we just need to enter the quantity and press the button pre-order now it will add it to the cart uh, so if here we can see that it is uh, only dollar uh, eight will be added as a price to make it as pre-order so we need to press the button proceed to check out to complete the order here uh, the customer need to enter the first name last name and other required information to complete this pre-order and we just simple press the button place order here the order will be placed and we received a order number so now we move through the admin panel to to check all the changes here on admin panel the order will be available under, under the WooCommerce orders this is the last order order number 139 so uh, admin just need to uh, complete this order as it is a cash on delivery order uh, which is not a uh, auto complete order so just admin needs to uh, mark it as a complete and now once the product available in stock and the odd customers will be notified through the mail so here the admin needs to uh, manually make the product available in stock so admin can complete this step by moving through the products choose the product and under inventory mark the product as in stock and update the product now the product has been updated so the pre-order will be auto disabled now we can check the same by moving through the WooCommerce pre-order list here we can see that the pre-order status is now disabled now the customer needs to complete the pre-order so uh, we can check the same by moving through the front end here on front end the product is now available to add to cart and if you move through the product page we can see that now it is a normal order and normal product and just uh, customer needs to press add to cart to add this product into the cart here once the product added to the cart we can see that in the view cart section that the price will be added as 12 USD instead of 20 because we already paid 8 USD as a pre-order so customer just need to press press the button proceed to check out to complete the order and place order now the order will be completed and the order will be received by the admin that's all for the wordpress woocommerce pre-order if you have any query or suggestion regarding the plugin you can mail us at support at webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uhs.com Thanks for watching this video, stay tuned for more updates, thank you.